Hi, I'm Carl Conrad. I founded Australian Immigration Law Services 23 years ago. Our team is based in Sydney, but we are fortunate to have clients as well as viewers, just like you, who are living around the world. Thank you for supporting us on our journey so far, and we have just reached the 13,000 subscriber mark, and that's within the first 12 months. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel for information on visas to live, work, and study in Australia, how to apply, tips, and the latest immigration news. Being a permanent resident grants you many privileges that a temporary visa holder does not have. But it doesn't mean that you no longer have to worry about visas. If you spend too long outside of Australia, you can lose your permanent residency status. If you remain in Australia, however, your permanent residency never actually expires. It remains valid until the day you die. Yes, there is actually no need at all to apply for another visa as long as you do not intend to leave Australia and come back. And that is where the term resident return visa comes in, called a RRV. This RRV is what gives you travel permission to leave and re-enter Australia after your first five-year travel permission has expired. If you intend to travel, then you need to be sure that you have a current RRV travel authority to do so. It doesn't mean that you need one to leave Australia, but it's the coming back part which becomes difficult. Even from outside of Australia, you can still gain another RIV if your travel permission has expired or if you left without one. You lose your permanent residency status when you're outside of Australia and your PR travel permission has expired or it expired before you left Australia. However, that does not mean that you cannot get it back. You can do so by applying for a RRV, but there is a catch. These RRV applications require you to meet specific criteria, and the first one that most people know, that you have spent 730 days in Australia as a permanent resident in the last five years before you apply. These 730 days, by the way, do not need to be consecutive. In this case, it is very easy as the Immigration Department's computer has already worked out how many days you've spent in Australia and grants a new RRV quickly if you meet this requirement. Most of the problems I help people solve, though, is when people have not been able to return to Australia before their travel permission expires and for multiple reasons cannot meet this 730-day criteria to get a new five-year RRV. Trying to resume your permanent residence status using the resident return visa application is a complicated process if you don't meet that basic 730-day criteria. There are many guidelines regarding this process which we will cover in another video. We do currently have some articles on this which you can find on our website at australiavisa.com and we'll leave a link in the description below. To avoid all this concern about leaving Australia for extended periods and then not being able to come back when it suits you, then it's best to take out Australian citizenship, because in this case you never lose your permission to return to Australia. The benefits of becoming a citizen of Australia are not hugely significant, but it does give you that ultimate right to leave and re-enter when you feel like it. Some people are very keen to obtain the Australian passport as it allows them to travel throughout the world more freely. The Australian passport is currently ranked in the top 10 visa-free travel to 183 countries. However, many countries do not offer dual citizenships and, for example, that is why many Japanese citizens rarely apply for Australian citizenship. As a permanent resident, you can remain happily in Australia free from the obligation to vote or attend jury duty for the rest of your life. Some Australian citizens would actually be very envious of that. Do you want to know more about how to gain Australian citizenship? Then let me know in your comments and maybe we'll do a video later on. If you have lost your PR status and cannot return to Australia, or if you're worried that you intend to leave for an extended period and you may not be able to get back, we offer Zoom, Skype and telephone consultations to assist. You can book an appointment at australiavisa.com and our contact details are in the description below. Come follow us on Facebook as well to get all of our updates and don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Before you go, remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to get our videos hot out of the oven. 
As always, take care out there and I will see you next time. So bye for now.